It's the sizzle on the grill, the heaps of sweets, the rows of chips, the stand of pork rinds, the mounds of cakes for less than a dollar. The shelves stocked with sugary drinks. The endless unhealthy options towering over this bodega's sparse fruit stand. Something these health conscious preteens hope to change. If we don't do something about it, then who else is going to tell the children um, that this is healthy and that you can't always eat junk food? Tanya Bermudez is a part of the Bronx Works after school program and she's actively involved in Shop Healthy Bronx, a Mott Haven initiative aimed at reversing the food desert that plagues the Bronx. The obesity on the, is, in the Bronx is on the rise, and we want to try to like stop that. Carlos Otero is the assistant general manager of 10 Days Grocery. He sees this problem day in and out. In Mott Haven, the obesity rate is 42 percent. Diabetes is at 20 percent. There are also very few supermarkets, one for every 25 bodegas. Carlos is committed to changing the look of his store. Real soon, we're going to start doing like fruit cups and yogurts and stuff like that. Um, we have salads now as an option. We're going to have a better salad bar soon. Uh, we have wraps. You know, so it's just about continuing the conversation on healthy food. It can't be good for you. Okay, the hope is by starting young and targeting kids, the change will be organic and multi generational. Eleanor and Tanya say they've already asked their parents to buy more fruits and vegetables and bottled water instead of chicken. Cake and soda. They watch a lot of TV, most of them, and they see like these ads for uh, bad things like, let me get an example, uh, cereal. At this point, the program is in four bodegas here in the Bronx. We asked if they plan to expand it to more, and they told us at this point they really want to see improvement at these four bodegas before they start to roll it out in other places. Reporting in the Mott Haven section of the Bronx, Teresa Priolo, Fox 5 News.